Hi, this is Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC Product Development Solutions with this week's Tip of the Week. This week and in the next few weeks, we're going to be concentrating on map keys based on some of the feedback we had from last week's video. And this week we're going to look at how do I combine different map keys that are very similar into one keystroke. And it's probably easier to show you what I mean rather than describe it at length. So let's say I want to create a map key that when I pick a certain feature, it takes me straight into editing the text. Let's see how I would do that. I'm going to go into the command search because map key is not listed anywhere in any of the ribbons. But once you launch it, you see the interface is pretty much the same as it was in the pre-creo days. And I'm going to create a new uh, map key, ES, I'll call it for edit sketch. So I'm going to pick a extrude here. And let's create a new map key. ES, and I'll just type in a description. All right, and I'm going to record. I'm going to right click on that feature that was already picked, say edit definition, and I'm going to go to the placement pick and hit edit on the sketch. Okay, we'll stop the recording right there. I'm going to say OK to that. Now, if I want to save it to my config.pro, I just hit the Save button. And there's my config.pro, and that's saved away. So let's cancel out of here and see if that works. OK, we'll rotate around. Let's grab that extrude again, and I'm going to type in ES. And sure enough, it takes me right to the sketch. And that that's all sounds well and good. It looks like we're on to something here. So let's get out of this again. Now let's grab, uh, instead of an extrude, let's grab a revolve feature. And I'm going to hit ES. Ah, lo and behold, those two dashboards are just a little bit different where they work a little differently. So let's cancel out of there. Well, let's try this uh, sweep we have, this variable section sweep. We'll hit ES. No, nah, it's in the chain, so it doesn't work for that either. Boy, it'd be nice if I could, if I could, uh, you know, get one map key that would take me into the sketch, no matter what kind of feature I had. Well, let's do that. Let's highlight that revolve. Let's go into the map keys again. There we go. And since I'm going to be gluing these things together, I don't care what I call them, so I'm just going to put a suffix on the end of it. I'm going to say new. And we'll do ES and just put an R on the end for revolve. We won't be keeping that long term. So let's record. Right click. Edit definition. Hit on the sketch button. OK, great. So that's taking me right into the sketch. Let's stop that. And let's save that one off. Same place we saved the other cancel a lot of this. Now let's rotate this around a little bit and we've got one other type of feature. We're going to do a few here. Let's do a uh, this sweep. So let's highlight him. Go back into the map keys tool here. Let's create a new one. Edit section and let's put an S on the end for sweep. Like I said, we'll discard that name. So I'm going to record, right click on that, edit definition, click on the sketch button. Great, so that's what we want. So let's stop that. OK, let's save that one as well. Now here's where we get to the trick of how we combine those together. I just want to hit edit ES for edit section. I don't care what kind of feature I have picked. I want it to do all of them. So how do I make that happen? Well, here's how we do that. Let's go into the area where I store my config.pro. Scroll down a bit. Let's go to the very bottom of this guy. There you can see the map keys. I'm going to put a space between them so you can see the different map keys here. So I've got three of them. And I would like everything to happen Regardless, so you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take off this first line right here that talks about the name of it and such.
and I'm going to put a backspace on the end of the preceding map key, so that's the continuation scene. So I'm going to go to the next end of that one, put a continuation line, and take off that first description here in that map key. So now as far as my config.pro is concerned, map key ES runs all three of those in sequence. And you start to think, well, whoa, 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 wait, wait a second. How can it do three things at, at once? How can it look through those and they're going to be an error? Well, sure there will be. It'll look at the three different pieces and it'll look at the first line if it's, say, in a revolve and say, look at the extrude part and say, well, wait a minute, I can't do that. But it'll skip to the next part and say, okay, well, what about this piece? I can't do, oh, I can do this last piece. So it'll run them in order. So let's save that. Exit out of here. And I'm going to close Creo down and relaunch it. We'll enjoy the beach backdrop for the moment. You might want to view this video again come winter when this kind of a scene will be very nice. So once it launches Creo again, it's going to reload that config file. And let's reload that part again. So that map key ES should work for any of these. So if I hit sweep, I should be able to type ES. Lo and behold, it skipped that whole map key till it saw the part that worked for sweeps and it used that. Well, let's check the others and make sure if that works. All righty. Let's grab this extrude. Let's type ES. Sure enough, it took me right to the sketch. So it'll skip the parts that can't work until it gets to one's parts of the map key it can execute. So let's try that last one. Let's try Revolve, and again, here we'll hit ES. Sure enough, it works on a Revolve, too. And as a bonus, even though we didn't code for that, let's see if one of those will work for a regular sketch as well, without geometry. So let's pick that sketch and hit ES. Sure enough. So if I pick any feature in the model tree of those types, I can hit ES. It takes me straight to the sketcher. I don't have to always hit Edit Definition and Edit Sketch, no matter what type it is. One little piece of uh, advice of how we get this to work, where it'll run those map keys without running into an error, is in the config file. One option you have to have set. So let's do a find and let's type in map key in the config. And there it is right there. Map keys underbar execution. So what's going to happen if a map key runs into an error? You can have it where it'll execute, but it'll give you a bunch of pop-ups saying, hey, I don't know how to do this. You could have it actually stop when it runs into a problem or no feedback. With it set to no feedback, it ignores the parts it runs through the map key. If it sees an error and it can't run that part of it, it'll skip it without feedback and it'll keep going till it finds something it can run. So editing those in the text editor together and with that config pick will allow you to have several different map keys all run together under one keystroke command. Now, If you have a question about this or any other tip, you can contact me or any of the rest of the folks at EAC, or even better, leave a comment under this video in the comments section and we'll get back to you. Thanks and have a great rest of your day.